much rack. It'll take long to make it. Kind of cloudy today. We have four, um, four two by four by eights, and we have some hardware here. And I got some like four and a half inch bolts built in for those, and I have four washers and four nuts. Yeah. That's four four washers and four nuts and just uh, four and a half long bolts here to go on the wood. We cut about a foot off of each board. It's already been done. Don't need to be that tall. With not for this one. And I'm gonna measure all the way down here from the top. I'm gonna drill me some holes. I got about three feet, um, about three feet down. Make sure the holes went through both doors. And what are you doing? This is the size adapter I need to cut a hole, but I don't have, but this is the size um, hole cut saw I need. But since I don't have my adapter, I can't use that, but we're gonna do the best we can. got some wire here, Home Depot, and this is going to be used to keep my wood from coming apart. It's going to cut about, probably just need about a couple of foot here. We have four four by fours. Have some one inch um, electrical poles. I drill some holes through there. Just stuck them through each end. And you don't need to actually. You, you can um, take a screw to attach these to the board if you want, but um, it's not necessary. And I got my wire on each end, keeping it from collapsing. 
Very easy to do, just have two screws, one screw on each board and wrap it around real tight and stretch as long as you want. Depending on how, how high you want this, you can bring the boards in or let them out and you can bring the rack down lower. So this is the uh, rummage sale rack that you can build real fast, real cheap, a DIY project. If you want to have a garage sale or just make some room, you don't have enough room to hang clothes, you can design this.